all right, guys, I'm doing a cook today on the drum smoker, but I'm not doing any cook. I'm doing a cook. I'm packing the drum smoker with pork butts. I uh, got a buddy of mine having a company function. He want me to do some pork butts for him. So I'm doing eight pork butts on the drum smoker. I could have took them to my trailer and put them on my big smoker, but now I want to test this drum smoker out. So we are going to max the drum smoker out today with eight pork butts. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, boy. All right, it's time to drop a half a charcoal chimney of briquettes in here. This is Western um, hardwood lump briquettes. I've got a few pieces of oak, hickory, and uh, I believe apple in here. I'm also going to throw in a few pieces of onion. I got a few pieces already in there. Probably going to drop about four more pieces in here. Um, the onion's just going to add a, some aromatics to the cook. Uh, and that's all. We're going to get it up to about 275 and start cooking. All right, right here I've got, you know, my two seasons, party dust and grilling dust. I'm going to mix those together, and that's what I have right here in this shaker. Uh, I like them together on long cooks. I think they go really well with pork butt and brisket. But um, this is the first four of eight pork butts. I'm, a, I'm cooking a whole case of pork butts on this drum. Uh, I've never cooked a whole case of anything on this drum, so I'm going to see if, it, if I can do it. Um, I'm going to season these up real good on all sides, nice heavy coat. This has got a lot of salt in it, a little bit of sugar, not much. Um, and that's it. We're going to season up about eight of them, put them on the pit, and get to cooking. Y'all stay. pork butts we're gonna try to load this drum smoke up i'm gonna try to see if i can max that sucker out with eight of them i got two racks to put in here we're gonna see if we can max it out four in the front four in the back season with our grill party dust and a combination of uh, our grill party dust and grilling dust together let's see what we can do y'all stay tuned it's going down over here drum smoker eight pork butts hickory smoke yeah all right we're going on with the first of eight I'm gonna start off in the middle. I'm gonna try to get some spacing in between them. And I'm going fat side up. So let me flip that one over. All right, y'all, that's our first date. Stay tuned. All right, we're going on with the second set. Second set looking good. That is our second rack. Fat side up. Kind of try to configure these a little bit different. That's it. Eight butts in the drum smoker. All right. These pork butts have been in here for eight hours. Not eight. I'm talking about eight hours. These pork butts have been in here for four hours. Let's take a look. Those are the top four. Those are the bottom four. Everything looks good. I haven't spritzed or anything. I'm going to let them keep rolling. I haven't refilled this drum smoker with any charcoal. It's still sitting at about... What's that? About 265, 270? We're money. Stay tuned. All right. I am going to make one adjustment. Since they've been in there four hours, I'm going to rotate them. So basically, I'm going to take the ones on the top, put them on the bottom. And the ones on the bottom, put them on the top. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully I don't drop them. These are the ones at the top. You know what? Scratch that plan. That's not going to work. 
that's not going to work. So, what I'll do is just flip them. Got that wasn't going to work. We got hooks in there that's going to prevent that from happening. So I'll just flip it. And there it is. See y'all in a little bit. All right, I'm going to give this another try. I'm going to rotate them out. I'm just going to swap. I'm just going to move them around. I don't want the ones on the bottom to get more heat than the ones on the top. So this is what we're gonna do. This one's going in, this one's coming out. This one's going in, this one's coming out. This one's going in, and this one's coming out. There you have it. All of them rotated. We're still running at 250. Somebody's going to be a happy camper. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Just coming out here to check. They've been on probably about six hours. Looking pretty good. The ones at the bottom, look, they smell wonderful, man. This is one of the ones on the bottom. That's the fat cat right there. They smell good. I'm running at about, maybe about 225, 230 right now. I slowed it down a little bit. Kicked the exhaust back a little bit. So, I'm gonna let it keep on going. All right, nine and a half late, hours later, we're getting ready to take these to the party. We're gonna chop them on site, dress them out on site, but let's take a look at them. Eight of them. Stacked up together. They are ready to go. Super tender. Ready to pull. Good bark. When I tell you this drum smoker will cook, this thing has had, I have I've not replaced any of the charcoal and I still have enough to probably go another three hours at about 225, 230. Perfect little cooker. All right, guys, I wanna say thank you for joining me again today on this journey, man. Drum smoker, a whole case of pork butts. I didn't think it'd be able to handle it, but it did. I cooked a whole case, eight pork butts on this drum smoker right here. And when I tell you this thing still has enough charcoal to probably go pro another three hours, what a deal, what a deal. So if you're interested in getting a drum smoker, you have a drum smoker, I would definitely, 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 definitely purchase one. So as always, thank you for joining me. Y'all be cool. Peace.